I'm in trouble, man. What's going on? I don't have a job since like an hour ago. We got an eviction notice this morning. If I don't pay in a few days, we're gonna be on the street. You know what you need? You need to get a little intoxicated with a buddy of yours. All right, for just a little bit. Hey, Craig, these guys want to buy out the next round, man. I'm Colin, this is my wife, Violet. It's Violet's birthday today, so we thought we'd go out on the town, get a little crazy. Essentially, it's a dark comedy. It's a dark comedy made by somebody that was raised on a horror film, so it has a bit of that edge, but I think it is, you know, it's a morality play. It has a bit of a thriller to it, but um, it's about how far people are willing to go in order to do what they think is right, what they have to do, and how that can sometimes put them in a really bad place morally. And um, it's, it's just a really evil, you know, house party. The script was originally written by Trent Haga, who comes from a pretty rural, blue-collar background, and I think he's always characterized the rich as, like, others and, like, evil. I don't necessarily, but in L.A., you know, one thing that we do have is we have kind of rich assholes that occasionally go out to the bars and clubs, and they try to buy their friendship, they buy their relationships, and you just see it everywhere you go. It's a very pay-as-you-go kind of culture sometimes in L.A. So I've definitely seen douchey guys like Colin going out and about and just throwing money around and... So I'm just like, it would be kind of interesting if that kind of douchey character was like a really sinister villain. Whichever you fellows does the shot first, gets 50 bucks, boom. Wait, what? Oh! Vince. Meanwhile, wait, what? <laughs> I think there's satirical elements to it, but I don't really like satirizing horror movies. You know, I think I'm such a fan of it that it's like, okay, you can play with those tropes, but you kind of have to take them seriously when you do it. You know, I think the humor here comes from people making really bad decisions and just behaving horribly, you know, but I think there's elements of horror. Some of the violence gets pretty grisly. We had 14 days to shoot this film and we had no money. The, the craft service was crap. You know, people were very tired. We were working really late. It was in the middle of a heat wave. So people weren't getting paid very much. It's, it's really intense and it's really emotional. So it's funny, it's like people watch a lot of comedies and they're like, that must have been really fun to shoot. It's not always, you know, it's like even getting like a joke right, it's like everybody's like playing it as straight as possible. And, you know, we shot in order. So people were literally going insane as their characters went insane in the film. So it was tough. Let me tell you this, no matter how much money's in that box, I am not sucking his...